and welcome to my channel again as you've seen before I show I've shown you a little bit of my workspace I'm just in the corner of my bedroom so I haven't got a whole room to myself but I think my space is cute and it serves its purpose so as promised in the previous video I wanted to show you my new Caran d'Ache luminance pencils I also will be swatching them in my little swatch book. By the way, these stickers are from Emma Dodos. These are so freaking cute. Like, I love them. You need to check her out. Okay, so let's get to unboxing. I've not opened those before. All I did was take the foil off the box because of the reflections. But I have not opened this box yet, so I'm so curious to see what's inside. Because these pencils are like everywhere. Everyone is using them and they seem so beautiful. And I was actually not sure whether I should go for these. Or maybe Prisma colors, or maybe Derwent pencils. The thing is, these are way more expensive than Prisma colors, and that was a little bit of an issue. But I thought I will go with the quality over quantity, and here we are. Okay, so let's crack on and open this. Oh, no, no, no! Wow, these are so pretty. So pretty oh and they smell so good I don't know it's maybe weird to smell a pencil but as soon as you lift up the box they just smell like such a freaking nice wood <laughs> okay let's do some swatching oh straight away straight off the bat I love this color and I love this color and this and this oh my god I love them all I can't wait to swatch them okay so this is a my swatch book uh, it is in a moleskin it is a watercolor journal so it's probably not the best for pencils but it will do i just want to swatch the colors and um, i've got my all my watercolors switched it's not switched swatched here my tombows my Arteza colors, Stabilo, Neo colors, Woodies, my pastels. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do it here. Which way shall I go? This way? Okay, let's do it this way. So these are. Okie doke. So the first one. Oh my god, I can't. They smell so good. They smell so good. This is chromium oxide green 212. Oh yes, they are nice. They are they are soft but firm. These are lovely. So this is two, one, two. I feel like I have to be extra gentle with them for some reason. So I like this color, it's like a pastel green. This is, I need my glasses. Those letters are tiny here. Uh -huh. Middle Verde Gris. Middle Verde Gris. I don't know. But the number is 713. There. And I know I'm going to love this one. This is. Oh. Chris. Oh, no, no. I don't know. I can't read that. 671. Oh, yes. I love. Like a light blue turquoise color. I love this. Okay, 671. And this is ultramarine. <laughs> One for zero. Or ultramarine or ultramarine. 
140. Yes. Next is. Okay, so they wrote both names in French, which I cannot read. And the number is 135. I guess I can find those names somewhere online. I'm sure there's a list. Or oh, actually, let me see. Because there's a leaflet that I didn't even. Okay, yes. So all the pencils are here. They're all listed here. So at least I will be able to. So 135. What's 135? Okay, so it doesn't it hasn't got the name. Uh, it is Blue de Nimes. Okay, never mind. Let's move on. This have I done this? No, six, six four nine, six four nine. Let's go this way. Six four nine. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. They are actually very nice um what i was going to say these are so nice these are actually soft but firm i don't know how to explain this it's like with uh, paint brushes you know sometimes paint brush the hair is soft but it's not firm and i like the brushes that are soft but firm soft but dense i don't know how to explain this you probably know what I mean if you do painting or... This is Dark Indigo 639. Like this. It's almost... Okay, it's only because my glasses... My glasses have that tint. Blue light filter. And everything kind of looks a little bit different. It's a bit more creamy. Carmel Lake. No, Carmine. Carmine, Carmine lake 575 nice okay this i'm actually quite curious about this color this color is warm earth 40 percent yai this is lovely this is 745 745 it's like a sienna color terracotta okay Let's go with terracotta. And this is a zero four four. And then next is oh I don't know, some Hercules <laughs> <Q> red. <laughs> I don't know the name. Can't read that. Zero six eight. Zero six eight. Very nice. <laughs> Be, could be like a mid-tone flesh color, I suppose. This is violet pink, 583. Very nice. Pink. Is it 583. Okay, this next one is hibiscus pink, 094. I love these colors. They are so flipping cute 094 next quinacridone purple 115 115 and then next we have oh no some something something Carmen 580. Yes, 580. Dark cadmium orange. Emit. If you know what emit means, let me know because I see it on the paint sometimes and I should research because I'm too lazy to do it. But if you know what emit, I M I T min means leave me a comment. It would be nice to find out. So this one is that dark cadmium orange emit. Is it imitation? I don't know. Five three three. Yes. Five three three. And then we have uh, 
medium cadmium yellow emit again so I don't know maybe it's like a imitation cadmium because cadmium apparently is toxic so maybe they add like a imitation of cadmium just to get the same color I have no idea this one is Indian yellow five two three nice quite a an ochre ochre color five two three five two three and then we have butternut no cute name butternut butternut oh yes very nice like a caucasian skin color five four two and then last but not least white which probably is not going to show up or maybe it's pink white so maybe it will show up pink white yes okay so that's like a porcelain caucasian skin like my daughter's skin color she is like a flipping snow white if you knew her or if you know her oh my days you know what i mean she's got this very porcelain skin and dark hair and those icy blue eyes and she is freaking beautiful so yes this is like my daughter's skin color <laughs> okay these are really nice I, are they worth the price for me i don't know uh it was kind of on my they were they were on my wish list like i always wanted it i think the price would always put me off are they worth it i don't know the quality is amazing like they look amazing they feel amazing the barrel is nice and round I actually prefer round pencils than uh, like the edgy ones. Um, they smell good. They draw really nicely even on this watercolour paper. They're beautiful colours. Are they like good for me? I'm sure they will be good for me for I, what I will be using them. But I'm not a coloured pencil artist. So I probably won't be able to rate them like a professional color pencil artist would but I like them I like the colors and yeah I love this one I think this is my favorite ever color 671 anyway so these are the swatches and my new Caran d'Ache luminance pencils they feel amazing I like the fact that they are soft but also firm at the same time so hopefully I will have a lot of fun with them this video was purely for me to do the swatches in my swatch book. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully see you in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye. Hi, I'm back. I forgot to say something very, very important. These pencils, I bought them from Jackson's Art and I actually have an affiliate link for Jackson's Art. I will leave the link in the description box below. If you click on that link and purchase these pencils or any other stuff from Jackson's Art, you will get 10% discount on your first order. I think you have to register an account, I'm not sure, but you will get 10% discount on your first entire order, these pencils included. So I think it's a such a good way to save your money, you know. So go check it out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.